Hi, Peter Coombe here. Welcome to Storytime. Hi, tonight I'm going to read you the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Some time ago I wrote a song about this, my own version of it, and uh, but tonight I'm going to uh, read it to you, read you my song rather than sing it. It's uh, based on a poem by a man called Robert Browning and he wrote it in 1842. So, here we go. Listen, I'll tell you a tale, a story from a long time ago. In Hamelin, there was a plague, a plague of dirty rats. They ate all the cheese from the vats. They spoiled the ladies' chats by speaking and shrieking and squeaking in 50 different sharps and flats. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rats, cheeky and sneaky and ravenous rats, fought with the dogs and they killed the cats. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rats. Then one day a stranger appeared, dressed in bright yellow and red. Said he, the Pied Piper, am I, and I can get rid of those rats. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rats, cheeky and sneaky and ravenous rats, fought with the dogs and they killed the cats. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rats. The Piper stepped out in the street, put his pipe to his lips and he played Ah, it was beautiful. He danced all the way across town. The people of Hamelin cheered, Ray! and rang all the bells in the town. Go, said the mayor, and get poles. Poke out the nests and block up the holes. So, the piper went back to the mayor, who'd faithfully promised to pay 1,000 guilders reward. The mayor said, hmm, um, uh, 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 50 is all you will get. Hmm. The piper was not at all pleased. So he stepped out in the street and once again started to play. And all over Hamelin town came the patter of tiny feet. They followed the piper up Koppelberg Hill. A door in the mountain swung open until all of the children were safely inside. Then that door in the mountain swung shut. <coughs> And that's how this sad story ends. Not one of those children returned. The lesson is clear to us all. A promise made is a promise kept. Good story, isn't it? Very old one. Sad, but um, yeah, I enjoyed reading that. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Um, night, night. See you again.